outside the Sunglass Hut here at the Orlando International Airport, where Nick the Stick has lost his sunglasses for the weekend, and he's, he's got to go find a new pair. Nick, what, what's your favorite pair of sunglasses? Favorite pair would have to be... If you, like, had unlimited funds. Unlimited funds would be Dolce & Gabbana. Dolce & Gabbana? All right, let, let's see if they have any sunglasses. Hi, how are you? Hi. We have a, uh, we have a, a need here for some sunglasses. Uh, he lost his. What, what would you recommend for a, a strapping 18-year-old man like, like this, this young man? What can you like, Oakley? Uh, Oakley, Gabbana, Gucci. So they're, they're checking out some Dolce & Gabbana's. All right. Let's try these on, Nick. Face the camera, please, for me. What do you think? This is Jer Jersey Shore look. I think they're a little too big for your face, actually. Let me, let me zoom in on these a little bit here. Now, is that the look now? The look is big. You want? Now you don't want to be on the camera? These are goggles when, these are beer goggles. These are little. You don't like them that big, do you, Nick? I like the thinner frames and the. All right, so what else you got? Anything else? Cool. He might be going for another brand if you, uh, if you recommend a, a, a decent brand. Is that your style, Nick? Not bad. A little, a little big for my taste. It's a little big for your taste? Yeah, I think you need the smaller... Uh, she's telling you not the big. Maybe you're not in style as much as you thought. Was it nice? What, what else you got there? You got something with a little smaller glass? 260. Right, that's, that's, your, that's your range. Over here, over here, over here. Give her the glasses, Nick. You drop them, you bought them. Put those on, those are a little small. That's you. That's yeah, that's this, you. Is, this is my style with the yeah. Yeah, metal like on the top, metal. Let me get a silver. little zoom in. Nick the Stick. Now, if you can only afford these glasses, that would be, uh, that would be uh, probably the solution to all your problems. But he's going to have to pass because he but only this, makes... This would be let me see. a Dave Palumbo style. Let me see. Glasses. Put those on. Let's see how those look. With that's a sparkly jersey. That's a Mr. Shirt. G. That's a Mr. G style glasses. <laughs> a little DG on the side. They actually match your shirt. You're a little... Uh, They're a little feminine for me, though. Are they? Yeah, these are... For but you're a very masculine guy, so you could probably pull that off. Exactly. One more pair. Let's try These here. are actually mine. Oh, those are the ones you have? I have the Italian flag on the uh, top. Oh, you like those? Over here ah, and on the side. Gotcha. And how much do those cost you? Yeah? These are 260 here. I got them for 180. 180? A whole week's salary for you, pretty much. Pretty much. Only RX muscle. That's Where it. 180? <laughs> Where'd you get them for 180? Uh, Amazon.com. I bought them online. You Not cheated. Sunglass.com? No, Amazon.com. He bought them online. He, uh, he probably got fake ones. He probably doesn't even get the real ones. Now, how can you tell if these things are fake or not? Is there like a way to authenticate these things? On the inside. Show me. I don't know really. You don't know? You work here. You're supposed to know everything. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't trust. I don't trust this place, Nick. It's, she doesn't. She's not very positive about the authenticity of the glasses. All right. Well, we're here with Dave the Stick. Trying to copy uh, copy me now. He's, he's trying on a pair of sunglasses. Don't be the commentator. You don't commentate well. <laughs> I'm going to put a pair of sunglasses on just to show Nick that I, you know I, I could be cool too here, and I could actually afford these sunglasses. So they look good on me, and I could pay that. I could actually buy them if I wanted to, but I don't want to shine them up or you know make him look you know like he's uh, he doesn't know what he's doing at the clubs because you know he's a promoter extraordinaire now. You know, if I was going into the club, I'd probably have to wear them up here, and you know, I'd be like, all right, man. <laughs>